This week on Jared Scott Outdoors, we're after geese. I hooked up with Gordon McLean from Salt Creek Upland Birds and a couple of his friends. We'd be hunting out of a field that the geese had been feeding in the last couple of days. Gordon hunts geese several days a week, and even he admits that he's addicted. Needless to say, with his experience, know-how, and decoys, as long as the geese showed up, we would be in for a great day of hunting. While my sons and I worked on collecting tumbleweed to use as cover, Gordon and the others set out the decoy spread. When putting out the decoys, you have to consider where you expect them to come from and the direction of the wind as they always come into the decoy spread flying into the wind. As I mentioned, we collected as much tumbleweed as we could to help create some cover to hide behind. Every setup's different on whether you're using existing cover, layout blinds, or create your own cover. With us having nine people to hide, creating a blind along the fence with the tumbleweed seemed to be the best option. Now it was just a waiting game. The previous days, the geese had been starting to fly around 9.30 in the morning, and so we still had about a half hour to get things finalized. Hey, we're out here this morning trying to kill some geese. We got a pretty good sized spread. We got a mixture of full bodies and shells. Our shells will represent the resters and our full bodies will represent the feeders. We got a pretty stiff wind blowing out of the south to the north today. So what we're hoping to do is uh, get the geese to come across and see our decoys cut and come back in and lock up and hopefully come right over the top of us and get some good shooting. <laughs> Suddenly as expected, geese were in the air and we were all hunkered down. This would be the first test to see if the geese would come into our position. This first group swung around a lot further behind us than expected and obviously spotted us hunkered down behind the blind. At this point in the season, they've seen lots of hunters and knew they didn't like what they saw as they veered off. Hopefully this wouldn't be a sign of what was to come. Sure enough, the next group came in from behind us as well, saw the hunters, and turned off towards safer fields. This wasn't looking good. We all tried to blend in a little better as another group of geese saw our spread and started looping our way. Just like the last ones, these came in well behind us. However, as you can see, these set their wings and were coasting right in. This is exactly what we were hoping for. Five down, that's what you like to see. You don't have to have a dog when hunting in the fields, but Zoe sure made short work out of collecting the downed geese, making it where the hunters could get ready that much quicker when the next geese were spotted. This group of geese were looking promising as they made another turn still a little too high to take. They were just looking us over. You can tell when they made us as they suddenly made double time and got out of there. Patience was the key as we knew more would be in soon enough. This pair suddenly showed up giving everyone just enough time to hunker down and sure enough, you could tell they were coming right in on their first pass as they'd already set their wings and were coasting in. This time I'll remember to take it off safety, so. <laughs> <laughs> These three looked like they'd follow right behind the last two as they came right in as well and were already coasting. Just when I thought it was inevitable to hear Gordon make the call to take them, the three geese wisely called it off as they quickly gained altitude and distance. However, as those three left, another pair dropped in right behind us and were obviously coming into the decoys. They would need a lot of luck to escape the seven guns ready to take them. When the next group came in, they were everywhere. We had geese high in the air all around us. The closest group did an initial flyby and most continued on past us, but six of them did make the turn and started to come on in. As they set their wings and came in dangerously close, they started to slowly veer off like they might not commit at the end. However, as you can see, at the last moment, another pair snuck in as well and they closed the final distance needed. Two more down. With so many in the air, Gordon just kept calling. 
While many of the groups of geese took off with the shots, a minute later, one of the groups started dropping in. Apparently, they didn't get the memo with all the previous shooting. They weren't quite as low as the others had been, and so most of them got away. However, there were a few that weren't so lucky. Yeah, down, down. <laughs> Within just a few minutes, more were on their way in looking promising. But in the end, they wised up and left. This group of three circled us a few times before finally veering off. But as you can see, once again there were geese all over in the air around us. This big group was dropping in for a closer look, followed by a few others, as well as another large group. You would think with this many geese in the air around us, we could get a few to come on in. But in the end, I think it's like hunting any other critter. When there are that many pairs of eyes looking out for danger, it's hard to fool them all. It only takes one to warn the others. That must have been what happened here, as out of all of these geese, not a single one came in close enough. However, right after the big groups left, we had the opposite thing happen. Two geese on their own came in behind us into the wind and dropping in fast. This time there was only two sets of eyes to fool, much better odds. Kill him! Once again, birds were in the air. The pair did just as expected, circling us and coming in behind us. They were a little higher, but came into range. These two did much better than the previous pairs, as they both escaped unscathed. At this point, the geese in the air thinned down quite a bit, as most had probably found safe fields to feed in. But that being said, there were still plenty of groups in the air that we could wait for. When more geese came in, they started to spook just as they made it into range. Most made it out safely. One, however, went towards filling a limit. It's been amazing. You got ducks right behind us. Four ducks. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the Jared Scott Outdoors YouTube channel.